Hello and welcome to my mini live stream. Of course, um, unannounced, unexpected, and um, unplanned. But I am back. Hello, welcome. And if you're just joining, say hello in the comment section. Um, so I am just back from, thank you for the hearts, from the recent Philadelphia Miniaturia which is one of the larger miniature shows on the East Coast. Uh, the show was awesome. Really, really exciting. Lots of great energy. Hey, Nahid, good to see you. Um, say hello in the comment section if you're first joining. I'm going to do a little mini haul um, of some of the things I brought back from me and some of my purchases. Hi, Maurice Artistry. Great to see you. This is, hey, Tom Yoke. Wow. Good to see everybody. Welcome and happy Sunday. Um, so I'm taking folks through a little live stream uh, on a, a haul of some of the things that I acquired over the last few days at the Philadelphia Miniaturia. The first freaking treasure is this like vintage style stationery box. Um, it's crazy amazing. This is, you know, if you guys follow me, you know that I love, well, I love miniatures, <laughs> But I love tiny boxes, so you know, you know, I, I I have like this thing for miniatures, and I have a thing for miniature boxes. So I collect a lot of miniature boxes. But this one I found at the Tiny Dollhouse, New York City. Um, hey, if you're first joining for the first time, thank you so much. Um, so you could just look and see how beautiful this is. Look at the detailing. I actually don't know how this is done. Um, it doesn't look like an inlay. It, it looks like it might be i don't know what it is if you guys have any idea what that beautiful decor is but look at the gorgeous stain and woodwork on this piece it's just incredible and then look at the brass hinges i'm going to show you how this opens um all right here's the other thing that i don't know geez and i should have freaking asked um uh the guy who owns tiny dollhouse leslie he's really great um, and you really should check out the Tiny Dollhouse in New York City. He's got a beautiful supply of miniatures, including this lovely box, which is a stationary box. And one of the freaking amazing things about this I'm going to show you is that it... I hope it's not getting blurry. Look how this opens. And I'm not going to do it too far, but look, it opens. Both sides open. Um, and that's where you store, like, sort of, like, the fountain pens and all that stuff. Hey, Tulsa Tiny Stuff, good to see you, Oklahoma. Um, so I'm just going through, if you're just joining, I'm going to do a little mini haul of some of the awesome things I acquired at the recent Philadelphia Miniaturia. So another f really fun piece, this is by Sharon Harbison. She does a lot of food miniatures and, uh, she recently started doing these like, I don't know, I just love it. Sometimes you just love something, you don't know why, and you sort of kind of have to have it. <laughs> So she does these really awesome um, water pitchers filled with ice. I just love her ice. It looks so realistic. And while I was there, I saw these cute, I hate that word cute, but I'll use it because it is these tiny little martinis. They're like, sort of like, um, I don't know, fruit filled martinis. Why not? Right? What do you think? Uh, like again, sh I, it's the ice I think that's really cool. Uh, and they're probably made of resin. Um, which is fine. I mean, I do like real glass. I just, but I love these. So that's Sharon Harbison. I'm going to put in the comment section all of the makers. The other guys, um, tell me what you think so far. Um, what do you think of the, the cool ice, ice um, pitchers? I love them. The other, you know, pickup I had, um, cool, <laughs> small time decorated, hey, <laughs> um, is by the Little Dollhouse Company out of Canada. Look at these. I, I know there's a name for the designer of this. Does anybody know who it is? They do these cool plates and their interior de decorators. Anyway, look at these lovely, kind of like boxes. They're just little boxes. I don't know. I just, again, I love boxes and I love little things, of course. So um, they might be made of paper. I think they're paper wrapped. Uh, but I love, you know, I, I love the scaling. I obviously love sort of the cool modern-ish design and I sort of had to have them and they were relatively inexpensive so you know a newcomer to the miniature scene is a company called Ferranti Miniatures they have a lot of sort of older stuff 
um, you know, uh, you know, just like everybody else. And I, it, you know, and I found a couple of pieces from them. They're sort of vintage pieces. This is like an old fashioned shoe shine thing. Does that make sense? Do you guys know? Um, not a lot of detailing on this. It's really just one block of, of wood. It doesn't open or anything. Oh, I just broke this a little bit. Anyway, um, you know, but I love, again, I love the scaling. I love the design. I love the detail. I don't care that it doesn't open and it's probably made of metal. And this has got like a faux wood finish. I just love it. It's probably a commercial piece, but it was very inexpensive. And at the end of the day, it was so worth the little ping of delight that you get when you buy a miniature. So another um, piece that I found from Franti is this jewelry box. Again, this is really inexpensive. I think it was like 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. I'm not sure. Um, but inexpensive. I, you know, it is made of hardwood, which I love. I don't know who made it. I really can't tell. This could be a commercial piece, but I love the little miniatures inside, the jewelry. And I kind of love, um, I don't know. I love this piece. Maybe a necklace? I don't know. What do you think that is? So, I, you know, the other thing that I love. Oh, it's jewelry box. It is, um... I love that you get a whole bunch of lots of little things within the box. So that's always a like kind of a prize for me. So another reason why I love boxes, I love putting a whole bunch of little things in the boxes. So another piece from Ferranti Miniatures that I found that I love. This was a, you know, this is the Philadelphia Miniature. And a lot of times they have these fun little prizes and giveaways. And so I would love to know your opinion on some dioramas I made. Okay, send me, send me DM me, Hermes. Um... And they do like these auctions and stuff to make money for these small, these, these miniature organizations. And so I won that. And the other thing that was part of that is this, which I'm not a doll person necessarily, but I was really sort of drawn to this, this outfit. It gives me Wicked Witch of the West vibes. And I'm just on this really big little Wicked Witch of the West kick. And um, I, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I and that also was not that expensive. Um, hey Australia, good to see you. The other piece I found was from Linlot Miniatures, and this actually is a metal. It looks like porcelain, but it's metal. It's all metal, so it's got a really nice heft to it. But I I love the scaling. I love this is all stencil work which is kind of an art in and of itself. And I have to give them credit. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, very old fashioned, very grandma-esque, very unique. And I love sort of unique pieces that stand out. And I just love this piece. I'm a little confused because this is like a soup tureen. <laughs> this is like a tea set. So I don't know if those things go together necessarily. Um, oh, I wanted to say what I also got from uh, the tiny doll, the tiny not Tiny Dollhouse, Little Dollhouse Company out of Canada. Not the, the, not the, the bottles. I got those another time. But these little, I don't know what you call them. They tell you what's inside the bottle. So this is gin. And I learned a new word. Uh, there's also a label for hock, which means you don't know what's in it. I think that's it. Oh God, I'm not a really big learner if I don't even remember what she said. She told me hawk either means you don't know what it's inside or it's a surprise that's inside. But anyway, these are stainless steel. I thought they were I thought they were um, made of sterling silver, but they aren't. They're stainless steel, which I still love them anyway. Um, can you see that? I think it's kind of cool. And but these these uh, um, these vessels, these decanters were from another purchase. So I got a rum, I got a brandy, I got a hock. Those are kind of cool. One of the favorite miniature, miniature miniatures that I got is, are you ready for this, guys? This is from a miniaturist out of, I believe he's out of Mexico. He's definitely out of Latin America. Love, lovely of the Elvis. I know, right? Ulus, U-L-U-S miniatures. And I'm going to, you ready for the reveal? Okay, it's um, obviously a metal container. And inside, and I'm not gonna put this together because I'm not crazy. You can tell this is actually a syringe, a freaking tiny syringe in three parts. It p comes together. You put it together. Hmm. I'll take one piece out because I'm, I'm, I'm just that crazy because it's gonna go all over the place, I know it. Hold on, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I can't even breathe. I'm not breathing right now because you, you okay. So can you see that? That's the middle part. That's the middle part of the syringe. I'm gonna put that in. Oh God, I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, that's the middle part. This is the part that dispenses the, you know, whatever goes in the syringe. And the third part, which I'm not picking this up because I'm not, I'm really not that crazy, is actually the part that, the needle. There's three parts of this. My my brain just cannot even uh, sort of process this. How awesome this miniature is, and how awesome Ulus Ulus U L U S miniatures is. He's amazing, and I've waited a long time to own one of his pieces, um, for many reasons, uh, mostly financial. <laughs> but I I finally got a piece of his that I'm really really excited about. Um, and it's a piece just so wonderful. Another piece I got, which is, this is from a commercial maker, JBM. Again, you guys know, if you don't know by now, um, is JBM Miniatures. I love boxes. This is sort of like a vintage style tea maker. Again, this was not that expensive. I think it was $25. Um, and I just love the finishing. I love JBM. They're really w one of the most affordable fine art miniature makers. Um, and I was happy to hear that they still make miniatures. I wasn't sure if they were. And I found this lovely piece. Two other things that I wanted to, to show you. One is this lovely piece from, uh, this is, um, Marina's Mini Life. She's got such an awesome, uh, uh, selection of sort of modern miniatures. Um, a lot of 3D printed pieces, finished pieces, um, and she just has a whole lovely kind of a modern, fresh approach to her miniatures. And um, I was gifted this piece by her, which was so lovely. So thank you. Shout out to um, you guys over there uh, for this lovely piece. Um, okay. This was probably the biggest uh, great mini find. Because like at these shows, you get to experience a lot of new makers. Uh, this is by a newcomer to the mini scene. And I'm just checking my notes. And her um, her company is Trial Size. I'm going to, again, put this all in the box for you. Um, trial Size Dove Bar. And she just, all oh, this does very, very, very cool stuff. Um, mini scenes. She does book, uh, book nooks. Uh, definitely a modern approach. Very cool. Very cool vibe. Just all over the place. And if you guys have seen some of my stories over the last few days, there was a very innovative bubble gum machine that dispensed kind of fun miniatures. So the name of that company is uh, Casey Miniature Studio. She just, this is just the most innovative thing I saw and the most fun I've seen, you know, brought to the show. Um, and I'm just, it, you guys, it was a great show. There is one more piece. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. I'm going to do a separate post on this. This is also like a, a secretary box uh, that opens. I'm going to do a full demo, stand by for another post on that. Uh, but in the meantime, this wraps up my little live stream on this haul. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just DM me. Um, the show, Philadelphia Miniature, they did a great job. It was a wonderful show. Um, great stuff, great dealers, great miniatures, and just pure fun. So... Um, thanks for watching this little live and have a great day, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye.